Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we are going to go ahead and create a log, which is going to save a text file into Raspberry Pi, and then you can recall it later on if you want to see what's going on. In this case, what we're going to do, we're going to read the temperature of our Raspberry Pi circuit chip. So all you're going to need in this video is just going to be the Raspberry Pi that's going to be hooked up to your PC, and that's really it. All right, guys, my name's Andrew, and let's go ahead and jump into this. I apologize it's taken me this long to publish anything. I sound still kind of stuffy, so I'm coming over an illness. But let's go ahead and talk about the code really quick. And if you're wondering where I got this documentation, how to write this, um, there is that getting started document. So let me go ahead and open that up. It's get started with MicroPython on Raspberry Pi Pico. Jump to page 105. This is going to talk about the file system. And we're going to do almost the same thing, but we're going to put our twist on it. All I'm really doing, I'm creating this variable, which is called sensor temp. And I'm calling on, instead of a pin, like in previous videos, it's going to be on the board itself. We have a conversion factor, and then we're going to have a, another variable for file. In this case, we're going to call it underscore temp log dot txt. So it's going to be a text file. And once this runs, it's going to save it onto your Pi. And what we're really going to do is we're going to take that temperature. And this reading is actually coming from the book itself. And we're going to write some date time. Uh, we're going to create a string. And then what that actual temperature is going to be. And it's going to, it's going to end at a break point. It's going to clear out that. And then just for our sake of sanity, we're going to have print item printed what that temperature is every three seconds. So as I go ahead and run this, I'm going to see that it's printing this temperature, I'm going to put my index finger on the Pi itself where the black circuit chip is, and we're going to see it slowly rise. I am going to remove my finger with the hopes of that this is going to decrease. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to take a screenshot just so we have something side by side to compare. Let's go ahead and interrupt this. And now we're going to see underscore temp log dot txt. Let's go ahead and open this and then it's open up my screenshot just to make sure it's actually recording the temperature log. And then, yeah, you know what we do see. All right, my name's Andrew. Thank you for stopping by. If you guys have any questions, drop it in the comments below and let's talk about it. 